headphone users beware. marketplace nearby so I had heard lots of things about it some really not great things about it but it was inexpensive and I knew it would make for some awesome content with the Corvette so I went and bought it and what I thought was kind of cool about this exhaust system was there was literally forums about how loud it was people were like scared to buy it because they had just heard horror stories about how loud it was so naturally I went and bought it so now that I've had the C5 with the SLP system on it for about two weeks and I've driven it quite a bit, I've got a pretty good idea of how it behaves in different scenarios. seem 
in all the forums and stuff that I read, you know, they made it, it was like mythical, this exhaust. It was just, how could it even be made because it's so loud? It's loud, but I mean, I don't really have to raise my voice to talk to you, as I've said it before. I'm a loud, obnoxious person as it is, so I just naturally yell. because the engine's not turning very much. It's honestly not very loud in here at all. It's cut barely any more tone than my Borla S-Type did. But if you were to cruise in, say, like, fourth gear you wanted to be in, revs jump to just below 2,000, still doing the same speed. I don't have to raise my voice anymore. It's just a little bit louder. Still not very loud. There are those amazing pops again and crackles. Oh. God, I love this thing. And one thing I should note, I don't have the baffles in this exhaust. So when you get the kit, again, I bought it used, I bought it second hand, you get these baffles. They're just like little pieces of steel and they go in the exhaust. They've got holes in them, they're perforated. And I didn't put them in personally. Uh, you can put them in and here comes the drone. See, there is a little bit of drone. So back to the baffles. I didn't put them in. They're just little tiny things. They just slip in between the H pipe and the over axle pipe that you get with the system. But I don't get how they'd actually do anything to mute the exhaust note that this thing creates because it is a monster when you open it up. It gets loud. It gets very loud. <laughs> shifting and down shifting a lot really getting the higher revs there's a difference between this and just regular old straight pipes but it does have a little bit of a just a raw noisy tone to it like I said I love it now a big thing when choosing 
using an exhaust is also the shape of the exhaust tips. One of the things I didn't like about my Borla S-Type exhaust was the two tips, was the dual tips that it had. Uh, on a Corvette, I feel like you have that giant opening. Four tips just looks better. And originally what I wanted was four big circular tips to fill up that area, very powerful, big looking tips. <laughs> That's what she said, does that one work there too? I don't know. And when I saw the pictures of this exhaust on the ad, uh, I actually couldn't tell that these are actually oval exhaust tips. When I looked up SLP loudmouth exhaust, it comes up with four circle tips. When I went and looked at this one, it had oval tips. Sure enough, I looked up the part number. They used to make this system with the oval tips that I have. So this is an older SLP loudmouth system. But actually, to my own surprise, I like the oval tips on the C5 anyway. Because the C5's taillights are oval, having the four oval exhaust tips kind of brings the whole back end together, and it actually looks very good in my opinion. It would be a little bit better if all the exhaust tips were even, but I've heard of people having trouble with the SLP systems and having to weld a tab, just like I did, across all four exhaust tips to keep everything even and from bouncing around. Ooh, tunnel. How can you hate that? And now we get onto the highway.
one pair of pants later. So again, I'll include a link for this exhaust down in the description below. Obviously, it's the updated version with the circle tips. But let me know your thoughts on the SLP loudmouth system down in the description below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Be sure to check out my Instagram at drivehub underscore underscore for updates before YouTube. Stay tuned for more content with the C5 Corvette. But that's it for me today. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Happy motoring.